The GCAA Summer Series Championship was held at Oak Hills Country Club in San Antonio, Texas the week of Thanksgiving. Let's look back at some of the best highlights from the week. We start day one with Devin Pappas on the par 3 ninth, looking to get his front nine to two over par. And he drains that one nicely down the hill. James Song, winner of the GCA Summer Series at Bayonet Golf Course on the par 5 fifth. And he puts that one to within six feet. And his look at birdie. And he would drain that to get to one over. He would finish with a three over 74 and tied for 13th. Joshua Hu already at one under par going up the hill again on the ninth. You put that within tap in range. He would finish with a two over 73 and tied for eighth. David Timmons, winner at Omni La Costa Resort and Spa on his last hole of the day, the par three 18th all the way down the hill. And he actually nearly slips this one in. Timmons would shoot a two under 69 and be tied for third after round one. Blake Brothers caught fire on his back nine. The first nine holes of the golf course. Here is he on the fifth with a look at Eagle. That one would come up short, but he would tap in for birdie, finish with a four under 67 in second place alone. Day two, we go to Yin Ho Yu. Looking at five over par. This is his Eagle chip on the par five tenth. He would get that within four feet and make his birdie putt to go down to four over to start his day. Brian Garrett. Started the day on the 10th hole. This is a look at Eagle from about 40 feet, and he drops that one with the pin in. Garrett would shoot a 2 over 73, go to 8 over par overall, tied for 19th. How about Sam He from out of the bunker, cross green, also on the 10th? Putting that one within 4 feet, he would shoot a 1 over 72, go to 7 over, tied for 16th. AJ Schaefer. Winner at the Penn State Blue Course over the summer. Chipping his third shot. Lips out the cup. He would also shoot a 73. Get to 7 over tied for 16th after round 2. Joseph Lewis. This is the same group as Schaefer. Chipping down the hill to get up and down for par. Yeah, and he would put that one close. He would stay at 6 over par. Marcus Smith also at 6 over. The same exact group. That one's for birdie. To get to five over par, he would finish with a nine over, tied for 23rd. Alex Easthome looking for birdie up the hill. And that would get his round to seven over par. Same group, same look, Donovan Desmalchian, this time for par. And that to stay at seven over. Back down the hill is Jonathan Tanahana looking for his par from five feet out. And he slips that one in to stay at eight over par. Patrick Kahanik. Already at two over par, sticking with the leaders. This is all the way down the hill on the par four third. And that he would make to remain at two over par. Mitch Davis from Indiana University. All the way over on the right side of the trees on his third shot in the par five fifth. Going up and over the tree, lands it softly and nicely on the green. It would roll out to the back fringe and he would two putt for par to remain at two over. Joshua Hu again, same group as Davis, this time down the hill for birdie. And he would make that. He would shoot a one over 73, go to three over total, tied for seventh after round two. Your round one leader, mid-am Colby Harwell to stay at three under par. And he drains that nicely. He would go on to shoot a one under 70, get to six under total and remained in first place. Andy Mayo, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket, with a great look down the hill, saves his double bogey on the par three 13th. Also a Yellow Jacket, Luca Koralik, chipping over the green on the 12th. He would shoot a one over 73, get to plus five, tied for 10th. Back to Kahanik on the par four 16th. Drains that one in for par, shooting a two over, three over total, tied for seventh. Adam Bratton, another Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket, this time for birdie on the 18th. And what a nice putt there across the green. He would be at seven over total, tied for 16th. Andres Acevedo, looking for par to shoot back-to-back -back rounds of even par. 
he would go to a third place overall spot headed into the last day at the championship. Brian Garrett for birdie on the second. Already at seven over par. And a nice look there. He would shoot one under total, getting himself into the top 10. Rock Goyen from BYU looking down the hill on the par four first. And a nice off green putt there. He would shoot a three over 74, get to nine over, tied for 14th. Ian Maspet, Pepperdine University. Great look there. He would also tie for 14th after shooting nine over total. Connery Meyer putting on a nice final round. That's a birdie on the first. He would go to shoot one under and get into the top five at four over total. Luka Karolik again, birdie up the hill on the second from 25 feet out and walks that one in nicely. He would shoot an even round par of 71 and get into eighth spot at five over par. Joshua Hu back on the tee at the par three second. With the wind at his back, the pin all the way in the backside of the green. You put a nice draw on this ball, land it short, have it roll to the top, and this one would settle at around five feet from the pin, if not closer. Now Hu to sink his putt for birdie. He makes that one nicely. Hu would finish at eight over total and tied for 12th. Now over to the leader Harwell at five under total. This chipping shorthanded on the green at the fourth, but no problem. He would go on to shoot a two under 69 and win the tournament at eight under par. But now it is the race for the championship exemption into the McKenzie Tour. That's Gregory Odom Jr. up there in the mix for par. Andreas Acevedo coming into the day in third place at even par was already two over on his day until he makes this nice eagle from off the green at the par five fifth. He would go on to shoot two under and go into solo second at the end of the day. Now Sebastian Tremulo, the rest of the group fighting for that final exemption into the Ontario Open. Tremulo would make that for birdie to get to even par total. Blake Brothers struggling in the final round at the seventh to save par. He would lip that one out at the end of the seventh. You have a two way tie for first in the exemption race. Now Gregory Odom Jr. from behind the tree hits that small gap. This is on the 11th, the par four. This one rolls all the way down the hill and settles nicely before the fringe to give Autumn Jr. a six foot look at par. Now this to remain in two of the exemption leaders. And he rolls that one in nicely. Now you got Tremulo here at one over par trying to save bogey. And he does, he would move to two over, one ahead of Odom Jr. Blake Brothers, already at one over again. And that one slips by. So after the 11th hole, it is two over and two over for Brothers and Tremulo. Odom Jr. right there at three over. Now this is where Odom Jr. takes over. Another par look on the 12th, drains that one in with the pin in. Tremulo would make double and out of the race, Brothers would make par. Odom Jr. again with another risky look at par, he would make that. Brothers would also make par. So Odom Jr. still one down, looking for birdie on the 14th. That one he makes, Brothers would make bogey, so the lead would flip for the exemption on the 14th hole. Odom Jr. with a one-shot lead with four holes left. After a birdie for Odom Jr. on the par 5 15th, Brothers has this look for Eagle to tie him, and it would slip on by. So Brothers would make birdie as well. After a par from Odom Jr. on 16th and a bogey from brothers Odom Jr. has this putt to take a two-shot lead and he makes it into the side pocket of the hole and that would seal the deal for Gregory Odom Jr. who shoots a two under 69 to take the tour exemption at the GCAA Summer Series Championship so while Colby Harwell did win the event it is Gregory Odom Jr. from Howard University who's headed to Canada